Hello SUMC, Rob here, reporting in from one of SUMC Music's remote outposts with some more thoughts and another friendly check-in to continue to help you're safe and well and to encourage you to stay in touch. This past Sunday during morning worship, you may have noticed that a couple of events were in a different order than usual. Maybe you spotted that as you perused your bulletin ahead of the start of service. Either that or you were alerted to it by me as I prepared you for the flash learning of one verse from our choir anthem. Instead of enjoying Zach's message to our congregation's children and then having the choir sing, we reversed them so that the children's time followed the special music time. That change happened and will continue to be the case going forward because of a gentle request. We considered that request during staff meetings and then decided, yeah, makes sense. Partly, the change allows our children to hear whatever music is being offered up, and let's just say that as a wee small human, I do remember hearing our choir sing under the expert and enthusiastic direction of John Harper and thinking it was pretty cool all the way up through my sophomore year of high school when I joined. So, who knows? But also, the folks who take care of our children after Zach tells our children to take off wondered if we could make the order of worship change so that they could listen too. Yes, they could and do check out the live stream recording of the service once it's posted to our YouTube channel. But if we're doing something that requires us to mute the live stream audio for some reason, then there's no opportunity to hear that. We were flattered, but more importantly, it was something we could change that would make a difference but would hardly be noticeable to the average worship attendee. So, as we stood for the gospel reading on Sunday morning, well, on a past Sunday, the choir would have sat back down, enjoyed Zach's children's message, and then gotten back up and moved into place to sing. Ah, but change. So we stood for the gospel reading Sunday, and as that concluded, I realized, oh, we didn't talk about this in rehearsal. (laughs) Whoops. So the reading concluded, I sat the choir back down, paused for a moment, and then stood them right back up. It might have looked a bit weird to people in the pews who may have noticed. I figured there's no sight quite like a choir person remaining standing while reaching around for their choir folder, which, if they're lucky, is on their chair behind them, but might also be under their chair behind and underneath them. And thanks to a great many of my musical experiences, I have come to appreciate the positive effect of uniformity, and in no way would every choir member look for their folder behind them in quite the same way at quite the same time. And some, during the reading, had realized all of this and had surreptitiously collected their folders already. So let's all sit, let some of us root around for our stuff, and then let's stand, together. Usually I prepare well enough for certain events in my week such that I won't be caught off guard by stuff like this. Improvised uniformity does get harder and harder the more people you add to the process. Sadly, this time, I missed that one little detail. Maybe if I hadn't told you, you wouldn't have known. Now you know. Just another peek behind the curtain into how our choir does its thing. You're welcome. Anyway, please check back here every Friday afternoon, if you like, for more video hellos here on SUMC's Facebook page or on the SUMC YouTube channel, Supper United Methodist Chur 2501. My email address will appear here momentarily. Please feel free to use it anytime for any reason. And as always, if you need to get in touch with any church staff people for any reason, please do during normal business hours. Because no matter how, no matter what, doing the work of the church together is the big thing. Keep in touch. Keep the faith. Stay connected.